So now in this video, we're gonna limit the voltage across a capacitor with a couple LEDs. And uh, if they're green or uh, blue, then they start conducting about 2.5 volts. So they're in series, so it's gonna take about five volts before they start conducting. And uh, if enough current's going through, it'll build up to about six volts across two of them and it could go even higher but we're not going to deal with currents that high so we'll probably be stuck in the 5 volt range but in any case last video we did we made this voltage booster uh, circuit right there so it's not a great one but it can definitely get the voltage to the capacitor a lot higher than the supply voltage so we're going to take these two green LEDs right there for uh, this demonstration video we're gonna use uh, three volts at the supply, maybe two volts, and we'll see that we can limit the voltage of the capacitor to uh, five volts really easily. So now over here, we have the two green LEDs that I'm gonna use, and you can see the resistor to the positive supply there. We're not gonna do uh, much voltage, so 220 ohms. Long lead the anode to the resistor, short lead the cathode to the anode of that one, and then the uh, cathode, short lead of that one. You need to put them in the right direction for them to conduct. So even though the output is on right now, the uh, board's being powered, we only have about three volts. That's not enough to push current through them, uh, no matter what value resistor you got, not even four. And then five, you can see they start lighting up if we increase it more. But uh, the main takeaway is it takes about five volts before they conduct. Otherwise, they just block current. So let's get back down to, uh, let's try two volts. So now I got my uh, pocket oscilloscope there, it has the cable up there. The other end of that cable are these two alligator clips, which I clip to uh, jumpers. And I put the jumpers across the capacitor right there. And you will see that uh, although we have a two volt supply, I can go to that, that's what the rail has. There we go, two volts. I'll put it back, that I can boost. I can put a bigger voltage across the capacitor right there. So. This oscilloscope has about a million ohms of resistance, so it's discharging the capacitor pretty quickly. If I remove the oscilloscope, I just have to pull one side away and hit the uh, button a bunch of times. When I reattach it, you'll see that it was well above 8 volts, but then it discharged rapidly once I attached the oscilloscope. So we want to avoid going above about 5 volts. So what we're gonna do is grab those two LEDs. So I need to put the long lead, the anode, to that side of the capacitor. The short lead, the cathode, is on a uh, blank row. There you can see that the uh, capacitor, it has a uh, blank row in between it until we added the LED. So now we're gonna add the other LED. Again, the long lead, the anode, this side's gonna be more positive. Up higher is gonna be more negative. So we'll put it in that way, right there. Short lead the cathode up and double check that one. Yep. So now, what we're going to do is uh, look at the uh, voltage and I'm going to turn the uh, light off. And there you can see that uh, once we get somewhere around what looks like four volts, but I think it does briefly spike up higher, but the oscilloscope's just not picking up. There you can see that the LEDs flash uh, briefly. Maybe they can. Uh, get a little bit of current flow through at uh, four volts but uh, in any case as long as we have those two LEDs there and uh, they're not lit up we know it's below five volts and uh, so that's going to be about the uh, maximum that it'll reach with this setup right there and so if the capacitor had its voltage rising out of control these would be lit longer so as soon as they go out we know it is well below a uh, danger zone especially for the capacitor but in case usually you would use a zener diode for something like this or some other setup uh, voltage release but uh, the LEDs they flash to let you know that uh, they're limiting the uh, voltage so that's why I used it for this demonstration video so hope you enjoyed Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I got a link down in the uh, description. That would help out a ton. Check out all the other links too. They, they all help. I will see you in the next video.